Hi, welcome back. I hope you caught part one of this series, how to get ready very quickly for work without skipping any steps. If you missed the first one, please go back and catch it. But now I'm going to start, we've already done our foundation and a little bit of concealing, and now we're gonna move on to the fun part, the color and the finishing touches. I'm gonna to start my timer and let you know how long this takes also. So, timer started. Now we're going with e.l.f. bronzing powder, contouring blush and bronzing powder. And I'm gonna use this shade right here that I love to work around the forehead. I know there are a lot of people who spend a lot of time contouring these days. Um, when it comes to a everyday busy woman or busy mom, busy working woman, whichever applies to you, routine, I don't think spending an hour on contouring is going to be for you unless you want to wake up really early. So I think just basic contouring as I'm doing right now, trying to get that three and E shapes across my face and then blending down, putting a little bit on the chin and then also coming back and getting the sides of the nose just a little bit. Oh, I got a little dark. I went a little, I'm really contoured there, huh? I got a little blush here that doesn't want to go away. Okay, now taking the blush, I like this one because it has a little bit of highlight in it without looking too cheesy. And I tend to stipple a little bit more so that it doesn't rub makeup off of my acne scars. You can see a little bit there of my acne scars. I would take more time on another day possibly to make sure those were double concealed. But for everyday work, I think it's fine. And now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. Feel the brush here. And I'm going to stick with the applicators that are already in here just to save myself some time. And I'm going to go with these two beautiful gray colors that are in the Maybelline Blush Nudes palette. I feel that hair. Every I feel like every time I do a video, I have a brush hair on me. Anyway, um, doing the lighter of the two. Let's go all over the eye. So we're keeping it simple. Gonna do the same on the other. The sponge tip applicator I think is way underrated because even though it's an oldie, it's a great tool and it really leaves a good bit of pigment on. And then I'm gonna go to the gray, the medium gray. There's a darker gray also, which would be a great way to take this look from daytime to evening is to add later on that shade of darker gray. Make it a little smokier if you have time. So I'm just going on the outer part right here. And because I'm being as practical as possible, I'm just keeping it all on the upper eyelid. See, it's just enough contour, I think, to make eyes look really nice. Okay, so next, moving on, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Yes, I do this every day, so that's why I'm not leaving it out. I feel like that would be skipping a step if I didn't do it. No, I'm not in love with this particular eyelash curler I have. I wear them out a good bit, but I really don't like this one. So I'm not gonna recommend what it is. You need to find one that's good for you. Moving on to Rimmel exaggerate liner which I think wears really well put a little layer on and because we don't want to have to worry about precision as much as other times we might smudge it a little and it has a little smudging tool I'm just lining the top it's a great way to look awake and alert is to keep the emphasis on the upper eye, just like I'm doing right here. And because you use gray eyeshadow, then the black smudge liner looks really nice with it. OK, 
Okay, and then moving on to mascara, Neutrogena Healthy Volume. This is waterproof just because we've been going to the pool a lot. I'm gonna keep my mascara on the upper lashes as well. But if you know me, you know I'm gonna take time to do more than one coat of this. Sorry, I was like right up on top of the camera doing that, huh? Crazy mascara faces, you must make them. <laughs> it is the way, coat number two happening here. Okay, and the eyebrows need a bit of filling in. And on a typical day, I like to spend more time on my brows. But if I were pressed to get up and rush to work every morning, this would probably be all I do. This is the Maybelline Nudes palette. I like this shade of matte brown right here. And I will use my liner brush to just dip in there. And then I just come in and just kind of fill in the sparseness. It's not gonna be heavily defined, but it's going to be filled in. And it will look better compared to the other one. See how much better that looks? I have to remember to do up here so I can make sure they look as symmetrical as possible. One of my eyebrows, this one, likes to be more arched and I tend to express more with it. So I have to make sure that I keep this one raised. Oh yes, and now the lips, really quick. Let's put on, I'm gonna put on NYX Butter Gloss, but it can be any product that you like. This is in Peach Cobbler, I think. Simple polish, and it took me 11 minutes and 28 seconds. Do you have that to spare in the morning just to look polished? My hair is going crazy. Do you have that much time to look polished? I mean, 11 minutes, 28 seconds. I think we can carve out just that much. And the reason why you wanna do it is because you're gonna feel so much more confident and people perceive you to be more confident when you have on some makeup. Um, it gives that appearance of conscientiousness. So put on a little face and I really think if you do it consistently, you'll feel better about your efforts and notice that people respond to you more positively. So please comment and let me know what you think about this. Try this routine if you haven't been doing one or if you've been doing um, too much and you needed to scale back. Let me know how it's working for you. And if you know someone who could benefit, please share this on social media. We love the love and have a good one.